Hello, welcome to the Westdale Archives. My name is Jenna, and I am an author illustrator from Newfoundland, Canada. This is my authortube and booktube channel, but I do also have an art channel, Jenna Gets Creative. Go ahead and check that out if you're interested in that kind of thing. Today I'm doing the rapid fire book tag, originally started by Girl Reading. Number one, ebook or physical book? Physical book for sure. I definitely prefer to hold a physical book. Ebook does have its benefits. You certainly can't carry all of this in your carry-on. Number two, paperback or hardback? I like the aesthetic of a hardback. I appreciate the fact that paperback is so much cheaper and usually smaller. But if price isn't an option, hardback. Hardback's my pick. Number three, online or in-store book shopping? In-store for sure. I love getting lost at a bookstore. Don't send me in a bookstore if you want to see me anytime in the next three hours or if you don't want me to spend anything. <laughs> Number four, trilogies or series? Well, technically trilogies are series, but uh, I'm going to pick trilogies because I find when an author knows exactly where their series is going to end, they make better decisions. Some series go beyond their life. The author should have stopped before they stopped. <laughs> And that's usually not the case in a trilogy, so that's my pick. Number five, heroes or villains? Villains, they're way more interesting if they're written well. Number six, a book you want everyone to read. The Night Circus, read it. Erin Morgenstern's debut novel. This is the book where when I'm done reading it, I have to either start again or read nothing else for a week because I am stuck in this world. I love these characters and it's all I want to read. I have read it at least 10 times at this point. I own two physical copies. One of them is in storage with my mom and I have an ebook copy. One of my favorite books ever. Number seven, recommend an underrated book. The Dying Days by Shannon Patrick Sullivan. This is a dark fantasy set in St. John's, Newfoundland and the premise is that cities have memories. And if you know how to access those memories, you can access pathways, buildings, and entire settings that don't exist anymore. Number eight, the last book you finished. A Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. This is the prequel to the Hunger Games trilogy. I'm filming a whole bunch of these tags at once. Uh, no, I have not filmed every single video on this channel all at once. I know I'm wearing the same sweater in all of them. I'm filming a bunch of these tags all at once. I don't know what order I'm gonna release them in, but I'm going to do a dedicated review video for Ballad. So I'm not going to say much about it right now. I like this sweater, don't, don't you? I, I think it might just be my look for the channel at this point. It might just be a thing I keep going with. Number nine, The Last Book You Bought, The Oppenheimer Alternative by Robert J. Sawyer. This is his latest novel. I pre-ordered it. It took forever and a day to get here because Canada Post is so bogged down right now. This is the next book I'm going to read. As I just said, I just finished Ballad. I'm going to read uh, Felix Ever After, and then I'm reading this. Number 10, weirdest thing you've ever used as a bookmark. Probably not that weird. This is called a fair saver. This is, you used to be able to buy these for the TransLink transit system in the Vancouver area in BC. If you bought these in books of 10 at certain gas stations, it was cheaper than actually paying your fare in cash on the bus. These don't exist anymore because they introduced a card system. When I was reorganizing my bookshelf, this fell out of one of them. It was being used as a bookmark, apparently. <laughs> and uh, kind of cool to have it. The stamp on the back says Friday, April 8th, 1.42 p.m. Uh, it doesn't have a year, but I moved out of BC in 2012. So go find the last April 8th, uh, 2012 or earlier. And that's when this was used. <laughs> number 11, used books, yes or no? Yes, but if a book is new enough that the numbers still matter and the author is still making a good chunk of royalty on that book, then I would definitely recommend buying the book new if you can. However, I would rather see books passed along or resold rather than just get forgotten or destroyed. And sometimes, a used book is the only way you're going to get something out of print. So yes, I am absolutely in favor of buying or trading whatever used books, and I love the fact that used bookstores exist. They're slowly closing, which makes me sad. Number 12, top three favorite genres. Fantasy, science fiction, and mystery. 13, borrow or buy. If I can, buy, for sure. But I appreciate the fact that libraries exist, and so do friends who will lend you their books. 14, characters or plot. Plot? 
because a good character cannot save a bad plot, but a good plot will keep me reading even if I hate the characters. 15. Long or short books. Long, if it's well written. I never want a book to end if I'm enjoying it, so the longer the better if it's well written. 16. Long or short chapters. Don't care, I'll stop reading when I have to stop reading. <laughs> 17. Name the first book you think of. All these explosions are someone else's fault. That's on my to-be-read list, I can't wait to read it. The title sold me. What can I say? 18. Books that made you laugh or cry. John Green, The Fault in Our Stars. Dying Teenagers in Love. What can I say? That is a tearjerker. 19. Our World or Fictional Worlds? Fictional because I love science fiction and fantasy and most of that is in a fictional world. It's way more interesting than our own. 20. Audiobooks. Yes or no? Yes, I love being able to do other things while I'm reading, particularly since I also run an art channel and I'm also trying to you know, make a living as an artist. So being able to listen while I do art is great. I can concentrate on what I'm listening to while I'm doing that. There's other activities I can't. I tend to wish I had a physical copy to put up here on the shelf, but that's that's also true for ebooks. So yes, audiobooks, great. 21. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes. <laughs> there are definitely books I've picked up purely because they had a nice cover. I also Ironically, when I was a teenager, I used to think that hardcover books looked better on the shelf plain without their dust jackets. So you may notice, up here particularly, I have some hardcovers that don't have a dust jacket, and most of those did have one. I lost them. I have no idea where they went. 22. Book to movie or book to TV adaptation? TV, if it's done well, because I appreciate having a longer time in the world so that they don't have to cut anything and maybe they can even try to improve on it. Movies, they're too short, they have to cut. 24. Series or standalone? Both. If I am reading an author for the first time, I want a standalone because I don't want to commit to a series before I commit to the author. But once I find an author I love, a series is great. The more the merrier. Bring it on. Let me know if you agree or disagree with my answers in the comments down below, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye guys!